Hi, welcome to today's slow flow. For today's practice, all you need is two blocks or a thick, sturdy book. Shoe box will work just fine. And today we're gonna start in a reclined position. Make your way to your back body. We're starting in a broken bridge variation. So you can bring your soles of the feet to the mat. Feet can be at hip distance, or you can walk the feet wider, letting the knees knock in. Whatever version feels easiest in your body. Give yourself a few moments to find that low body shape. When you've found it, open your arms to a cactus or a T position. You can even bring the hands behind the head like you're reclined at the beach if that's comfortable. Inviting in some openness to the chest. Giving yourself a few rounds of breath to settle in here. Reminding ourselves with these slow flows, the goal is to take a little extra time in our movements. Sometimes slowing down can feel like a gift. Sometimes it can feel like a bit of a challenge. So just notice where you are today, what comes up for you as we're slowing down. Allowing yourself to settle into a natural rhythm of breath here. Two more rounds of inhales and exhales. When you're ready, Right knee can hug into the chest, hands resting on that shin. Extend the left leg long. Gentle pressure right knee towards the right shoulder. Just as much as feels good, not pinching or pain, little compression though. Let the left heel be heavy, resting on the floor. Breathe in and out. When you're ready, right knee comes to the left side of the body. Recline supine twist, right arm opens to a T or a cactus shape. Left arm can open as well, but I also like to rest left hand either on thigh or on the torso. So find what feels right for you. Goal here is to have right shoulder heavy towards the floor, right knee heavy towards the floor in the twist. Breathe in and out. Inhale, come back to center. Right knee hugs in, then left knee can hug in to meet it. You might rock a little side to side here or even take some knee circles if that feels good for you. When you feel ready, release the right leg, extending that leg long. Gentle pressure, left knee towards the left shoulder, finding that compression that works for your body. Breathe in and out. Keeping that pressure here, guide your left knee towards the right side of the body. Recline supine twist on the opposite side, opening that left arm to a tear cactus shape, resting your right hand wherever it feels comfortable. Inhales, fill the torso. Exhales, press out all of that air. One more full cycle of breath, breathe in and out. Come back to center. Both knees can hug into the chest for a moment. You might rock a little side to side or again, add in those knee circles. Taking a handful of breaths, you can roll off to one side and press yourself up to a seat. You can rock and roll up and down the spine, 
Really, however you get there is totally fine. We'll meet in an easy seat when you're ready. Whichever leg you prefer in front. On an inhale, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, twist to the right. Right hand behind you. Left hand resting on that right knee or wherever it feels comfortable. Keep a tall spine. Right shoulder gently pulls back. And gaze towards your right shoulder just as far as feels good in your neck. Finding a gentle stretch in the left side of the neck, but not cranking anything. Breathe in and out. Inhale, come back to center, arms lift up. Exhale, elbows pull down for cactus. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist to the left. Right hand anchors outside the knee, left hand behind you. Tall spine. Left shoulder pulls back. Finding where it feels comfortable for your gaze to rest. Little stretch in the right side of the neck. Breathe in. And out. Inhale, come back to center, arms lift. Exhale, elbows pull down for cactus. Twice more, inhale, lift. Exhale, elbows pull down. You can look up for more of a back bend. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus, or look forward for a little less back bend. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Make your way to a tabletop. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. On an inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, look up. Exhale, round your spine, press away from the mats. Inhale, belly drops, gaze lifts. Exhale, round the spine. Give yourself a few more rounds here, working at your pace. Know that this is a lovely starting pattern, but you can add in any other movements that feel good to warm up your spine, your hips, your shoulders. Maybe a little time in child's pose feels good. Some rocks back and forth or side stretches. Or even those movements that don't really have a name but feel good to warm up your body. All of it's great. Next breath or two, return to a neutral tabletop in stillness. Blocks towards the top of your mat just within reaching distance. On an inhale, extend right leg long, toes off the mat, heel presses behind you. Bring the right foot between the hands, low lunge, arms come up to frame the face. Interlacing your hands, flip the palms up towards the sky, side stretch towards the right. Breathe in and out. Inhale, come back to center. Keeping that grip, bring the palms to your right thigh. Slowly begin to press forward just as far as works for your right ankle and the front of that left hip. Breathe in and out. Coming back to neutral, you can release the grip. Hands come towards the floor and then bring the blocks to either side of the foot. Sliding your hips back, straightening that front leg, Ardha Hanumanasana half splits. Feeling almost like you're pressing away from the blocks for a long spine. Left hand stays planted. Right arm opens to the sky. Breathe in and out. Right hand comes back to the block. Bend into the front knee, shifting the blocks out of the way. Return to tabletop. Give yourself a moment or two between sides, movement or stillness. 
Returning to that tabletop. Extend left leg long behind you. Heel presses towards the back wall. Left foot steps between the hands. Inhale, arms come up to frame the face, low lunge. Interlace the fingers, flip the palms up towards the sky. Side stretch towards the left. Finding that openness in the right side body. Inhale, come back to center. Hands stay clasped. Press the palms into the left thigh. Shift forward just as much as works for you. Keeping that left heel anchored down if it's available. Next breath, shift back. Hands come to the blocks on either side of the foot. Shift your hips back. Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits. Back toes can be tucked or untucked wherever you feel stable. Right hand plants, left arm towards the sky. Opening up that left side of the chest. Breathe in and out. Hands come back to the mat. Press your front foot down to the mat, shifting into your tabletop once again. Blocks come back to either side of the mat. Walk your hands forward about a handprint. Tuck your toes and lift your hips for down dog. You might pedal out the dog. You might shift your hips side to side. Giving yourself whatever movement feels right for you. I'd even encourage you to play with shifting your weight from the heels of your hands where we can hold a lot of that upper body weight. Shifting it towards those finger pads pressing into the mat. Almost like you're trying to lift that heel of the hand off the mat. You don't have to but distributing the weight a little more evenly in both those fingers, rather both those hands, all those fingers. On an inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, make your way to the top of the mat. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, find a half lift, pause here. Hands rest on thighs. Squeeze your forearms to the side body. Sit bones press back. Crown of the head forward. Next breath, fold, knees soften, hang heavy. We'll do that twice more. Inhale, half lift, sit bones press back. Exhale, fold, knees soften. Inhale, half lift, sit bones press back. Exhale, fold and soften. Inhale, Urdhvahistasana or upward salute, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale, reach up, you can look up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Planting the hands, step back to plank position. Toes or knees, wherever you feel stronger. Inhale to press away from the mat. Exhale, lower all the way down. Elbows graze the ribs, untuck your toes. Hands come back by the hips and then interlace your fingers behind your seat. Inhale, lift for locust. Hips press into the mat. Knuckles press towards the heels. Give yourself a breath here. Next breath, lower back down. We'll do that twice more. Inhale to lift, knuckles press towards the heels. You can always release the grip if this does not work for your shoulders. Next breath, lower down. Once more, inhale to lift, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale back down. Inhale, press up to your plank, toes or knees. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Inhale, sweep right leg up towards the sky. Bend your right knee, opening the hip towards the right. You might take some knee circles here if that feels good, or you can simply hold in stillness if that feels better for your hip. Left heels heavy towards the floor. 
Next, inhale, extend right leg long. Then lizard, right foot outside of the right hand. I like to bring a block under my chest, giving a little more space here in lizard. Now you can play around, you can hold right here. Maybe you feel better lowering the back knee. Some people like to roll to the blade edge of the front foot. Explore what feels best for you. You can shift forward and back, adding in as much movement or stillness as your body is calling for. If you're unsure, try something out. You can always change your mind, it's just yoga. Give yourself another moment or two wherever you are choosing to be. Next breath, hands plant to the mat. Step back to downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Inhale, sweep left leg to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, opening the hip towards the left. Again, you might stay in stillness or add in those knee circles if that feels good. Give yourself one more breath. Inhale, extend left leg long. Exhale, left foot outside of left hand for lizard. Again, maybe you add in that block for a little more space. Can play with lowering the knee, roll to the blade edge of the foot. Again, check out the movement or the stillness that feels right for you. Doesn't have to match what you did on the other side. Handful of breaths. Give yourself time. One more moment. When that's complete, you can release your hands back down to the mat if they were on the block. Step back to downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Inhale, sweep the right leg towards the sky. Exhale, step it between your hands for crescent. Arms come up to frame the face. All the toes point forward. Back heel presses away from you. Shoulders soften away from the ears. Finding that strong base here first. On an inhale, begin to shift forward like a power lunge. Exhale, pour your weight into the front foot. Warrior three with arms extended. Back toes can be a kickstand or hover just above the mat or maybe like a capital T behind you. Sweep your hands back by your hips. Palms face down for airplane arms. Or maybe you even interlace your hands like we did in locusts, pressing the knuckles towards the back heel. Breathe in and out. Release the grip if you have it. Inhale, bend into the front knee, return to crescent. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to down dog. Breathe in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Inhale, sweep left leg to the sky. Exhale, step it between your hands. Crescent on this side. Arms lift. Back heel presses away from you. Soften the shoulders. Begin to shift your weight forward. Pour your weight into the front foot, that extended warrior three. Imagining a capital T shape, even if we don't exactly look like that, totally fine. Hands come back by the hips. They can stay right here or interlace, pressing knuckles towards the back heel. Press into that left standing foot. One more breath. Release the grip if you have it. Bend into your front knee back to crescent. Hands to the mat. Step right back to down dog. Breathe in. And out. 
Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, add those airplane arms. Exhale, fold and soften. Inhale, Urdhva Histasana, root through your feet, reach tall. Exhale, hands to the heart. Breathe in and out. Giving yourself a few breaths here. Feel like you're pressing your wrists towards the floor. Elbows out to either side. A little more intentional arm placement than when we maybe have our elbows down by the side body. Openness in the chest. Eyes can soften or close. Root down through both feet. Crown of the head is light towards the sky. Next breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale, arms reach up, you can look up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Planting those hands, step just your left foot back. Warrior two, back foot parallel to short edge the mat. Arms at shoulder height. Press into the blade edges of both feet. On an inhale, right palm flips up, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior, right arm comes overhead. Inhale, extended side angle, left arm comes overhead. Exhale, back to warrior two. Gaze over the front fingertips. Straighten the front leg. Triangle, hips reach back, fingertips forward, then right arm down, left arm up. Open chest. Press into the blade edges of both feet. Keep the crown of the head reaching forward and almost pressing the back of the head back. Not real exaggerated, but like we're keeping the front of the neck open. Pressing into both feet. Lift to reverse or peaceful triangle, right arm overhead, press into the front toes, reach through the top fingertips, breathe in and out. Bend into the front knee, return to warrior two. Cartwheel your hands to the mat, low lunge. Step forward to Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, airplane arms. Exhale, plant the hands, fold. Step your right foot back. Warrior two on the other side. Back foot parallel to short edge the mat. Nice strong base. Arms at shoulder height. Inhale, left palm flips up, reach forward. Exhale, reverse warrior. Maybe your gaze follows the hand. Inhale, extended side angle, right arm comes overhead. Exhale, back to warrior two, looking forward. Breathe in and out. Inhale, straighten the front leg, triangle hips go back, fingertips reach towards the floor, right arm towards the sky, chest stays open, crown of the head points forward. Chin lifts away from the chest just a bit. Strong low body. Open front body. Inhale, lift to reverse or peaceful triangle. Left arm overhead. Press into the front toes. Reach through those top fingertips. Breathe in and out. Bend into the front knee, return to warrior two. Cartwheel your hands to the mat, low lunge. Step back this time, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward to plank position. Exhale, lower all the way down to the mat. Elbows graze the ribs, untuck the toes. Hands back by hips. 
Inhale, lift for locust, squeeze that back body, hands can clasp or be open. Next, breath back to the mat. Inhale, press up to your plank, toes or knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Inhale, lift the heels high off the mat. Knees come to the mat for child's pose. Hips sink back towards the heels. Arms can reach forward if that feels good in the shoulders. Or you can rest hands back by heels if that feels good in the shoulders. You can also always take a seat instead of child's pose. If this doesn't feel like rest, shift your position. Handful of breaths here. Make your next breath the deepest of the practice. Feeling that inhale, expand the torso. Exhale, full release. When you're ready, lift the upper body out of the fold. Shifting so knees point forward. We'll be coming into a few variations of camel. If you want a little more cushioning under the knees, you can fold the mat for some more cushioning. I'm going to have a block within reaching distance for this first version. Come to standing on the knees. I have the block at its highest setting between my heels. This will be a camel with a little more movement. Start here, slight engagement in the glutes. Right hand reaches back until you find the block. Left arm lifts up, hips press forward. Then left arm swings down, finding the block, right arm swings forward. Can work at your own pace with these plank rotates as you go side to side. You can always spend a little extra time in stillness on either side or both sides, so less of a fluid rotation more holding in that shape. We'll do one more round on either side if you're continuing to move. Meeting in center when you're ready. Now, you are welcome to take that same version once again if that felt good. You can also bring the blocks adding in both this time to the outside edges of the heels. Hands come back by your hips, like you're putting hands in jeans pockets, so thumbs on the outside. Squeeze the elbows behind you. Glutes engage as the hips begin to press forward. Maybe you start to look up. You can pause right here, keeping the hands as a support on the back or you can release hands down to the blocks. If this feels like enough, pause right here. If you'd like to go a little deeper, you can always release the blocks, releasing hands down towards the heels. I like to keep my thumbs on the outside of the blocks or heels, whatever I'm holding. Hips stay pressing forward. Toes can be tucked or untucked, totally your preference. One more moment. Then we'll lift out of the shape, same way that we got in. Come to a seat on the heels, hero's pose, knees point forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades just a bit. Breathe in. And out. Give yourself a handful of breaths here, or you can come to an easy seat if that feels better in your knees. But keep your chest lifted. Noticing it may feel almost like there's some energy or something swirling around a bit in the chest. 
That can happen after camel pose. If you feel anything swirling, just let it do its thing. Breathing through it. If you don't feel anything, you're not dead on the inside. You're still a wonderful and worthy yogi. Just noticing whatever experience you're having. One more breath in. Full breath out. Shifting your seat so heels come out from under you. Coming into an easy seat. I'm gonna keep the opposite leg in front. So notice the leg you naturally wanna put in front. Shift it out. Finding a tall seat here. Hands start on the knees and then slide them a little closer to your body. So upper arms in line with the side body. Full breath in through the nose out through the mouth. Eyes soften or close. Bring right ear towards right shoulder. Inhale, look down at your lap. Exhale, left ear towards left shoulder. Inhale, look down at the lap. Keep working with your breath here. Noticing if any spots feel sticky or like they want a little extra time. Allowing yourself to pause there. Evening out on both sides. When that's complete, We'll meet looking down at the lap. On an inhale, raise your gaze all the way up towards the sky like you're opening up the front of the neck. Then bring your gaze back to neutral. Hands can rest over the top of the heart. Take a breath in through the nose out through the mouth. Two more at your pace. If you'd like to stay here for a few more moments, you're more than welcome to. If you're ready to close out your practice, hands come together at heart center, thumbs pressing in towards the sternum. Take a breath in. Release it out. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Thank you for being part of this RAD community. And I hope you have an absolutely lovely day.